Residents say that sound breaks the silence nearly every week in a local neighborhood. It is an outdoor shooting range with very few regulations. Neighbors tell us bullets frequently whiz past them and their children's play areas. But it's not a crime. In fact, one local town has said it's perfectly legal. Tonight News 4 Chief Investigator Lauren Traeger digs into how it could happen to you. We bought this house for the yard so our kids can play here. Lisa Shirley says they moved to Wildwood for the peace and quiet. We put a lot into it and they love it. But their serenity was soon shattered. The shooting started about a few months after we moved in. By their neighbor's nearby outdoor shooting range. Videos they've captured of the gunfire blasting. It feels like you're in a war zone. We've heard bullets whizzing through trees. She's been fearful to let her kids outside. At times, they're 50 to 100 feet from when he decides to start shooting semi-automatic to automatic guns. Even heard from their baby's bedroom, the gunfire waking her up. It's just become a nightmare. Brenda Eisen lives nearby too and has for three decades. It's been wonderful until just these last few years. We started hearing a lot of gunfire um, and it was increasing in frequency. Once recently while outside. I heard the gunshots and then I heard bullets whistling through the trees and it was terrifying. The neighbors took drone video showing, they say, people shooting very near their properties. For months, they say they've pleaded their case to all who might listen. Hey, Paul. Including the property owner. Dude, you're shooting into the people's backyard right over here, man. But the gunfire continued. They've even called the police and have gotten this. I have no authority to go over there and tell that man to stop shooting is what I'm telling you. And they talked to Wildwood City leaders. The response had been that the firing range was legal, operating within city code. It's going to take someone getting killed for them to give this the seriousness that it needs. And while it is a bit rural out here, this is truly a neighborhood. There's a number of homes, so you might be asking yourself, how would an outdoor shooting range be legal? I took a look at Wildwood City Laws to find out. The current ordinance prohibits shooting a firearm within 450 feet of any dwelling, church, school, playground, or building not owned by the person discharging the guns. City officials have said the firing range they've been shown is a little over 500 feet away from other buildings. And they have said the Shirley's playground doesn't count as an official playground. Why would you interpret the law to be anything but for ensuring the safety of children? But also at issue, Paul Brown, the man who owns the property, applied for and got a home occupation business license from the city a year ago to sell firearms, tactical supplies, and ammo. The business, called Mid-America Firearms, has a website inviting buyers to pick up orders here. City officials insist it must be his primary residence in order to operate the business. But through a public records request, News 4 Investigates obtained his voter registration and history, indicating he lives here instead. Though we could see someone inside, no one answered the door. We are supporters of the Second Amendment, so it's not a matter of that. Um, but what he's doing is dangerous. It's scary. And I truly feel like it, that it's men like that who give gun owners a bad name. Do you feel for them and their concerns? Well, I feel for everyone involved in this situation. We took the issue straight to Wildwood Mayor Jim Bolin. He says just this week, the city issued a cease and desist to Paul Brown and his business. If the notice is complied with that the city has issued today, which I hope it is, uh, that will go a long way to making sure that nothing unsafe occurs. Bottom line, the city has now determined he cannot operate that business. Correct. What changed? Well, what's changed is that we've learned uh, through independent investigation that the information for the application to obtain the accessory use is inaccurate. It's a move worried neighbors had hoped for for months. Should the city have acted sooner than this? The city's acted very quickly relative to this uh, situation. But even without the business, the gunfire could continue. He likely can do that as long as he complies uh, with other ordinances that may relate to that. So now on the table, a possible revision of the city's laws, including the 450-foot rule. 
So News 4 investigates check with other towns. Chesterfield, for example, has a very similar ordinance stating guns can't be discharged within 150 yards of a house, dwelling or apartment. Ophala, Missouri, as another example, only allows outdoor ranges with a conditional use permit in agricultural zoning districts, not residential ones. Firing a gun at all in city limits is unlawful except at an authorized range. Eureka 2 doesn't allow outdoor ranges unless for a military training facility. I'm a proponent of gun rights and, and I think uh, most people in Wildwood are. Mayor Boland says he doesn't yet have an opinion on whether Wildwood's laws should change. My opinion at this point is going to wait to see what that resident body does and then I'll take it from there. 450 feet is nothing when you're talking about the flight of a bullet. But some residents we talked to say the laws about shooting within city limits must change and soon. I'm terrified that something is going to happen and I don't even want to let them out there, which is heartbreaking. Neighbors demanded that their voices be heard. Speaking publicly here at a meeting at Wellwood City Hall tonight, a public safety meeting where they were looking to discuss changing some of those firearms regulations. One voice we have not heard much of, though, is that of Paul Brown. He has not returned our attempts to reach him through calls, texts, or emails. Certainly a lot more could come on this issue, and you can count on News 4 to continue covering it. In Wildwood, I'm Lauren Traeger, News 4 Investigates.